What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the spot where we kick back and react to all kinds of different things. All right, so what we got going on today? We're about to get into another comedy special. I put up a poll, you guys did the vote, and looks like we're going to be doing another Brad Williams stand-up. We're going to be doing Daddy Issues next. We got part one on this, and if you guys haven't checked out the older stand-ups, go ahead and check them out, all right? Um, we did a, a bite size and we just wrapped that up last week. So now here we are. Brad Williams is hilarious. Everything I saw, I was every single episode, every single episode I did of that stand up one through six had me in tears. He is just too good. Uh, so I can't wait to jump into this one. So I already know this is going to be good. But before we do, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? It costs you nothing, and it keeps you up on all new videos that get dropped on this channel, not to mention it gets us one step closer to our goal for this year, trying to get to 3,500 subs by the end of the year, right? So if you haven't hit that button yet, just remember, it is absolutely free. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and become an official supporter, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this. Brad Williams with Daddy Issues, part one. Alexa. Wow, really? It just turned on randomly? Alexa, quiet. <laughs> I swear that thing just likes to just interrupt me. Anyway, let's go. There's no way I can live up to that, but damn it, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Are you guys ready to party? Are you guys ready to have a lot of fucking fun tonight? Good, good. I like having fun. I like to party. I don't know about you, but when I party, I like to drink. No, and one of the main reasons I like to drink is because I never have to pay for it, <laughs> ever. Because everyone wants to know what happens when a dwarf gets drunk. Right now you're thinking like, I wonder what happens. I would really like to know that. Like, and I know it's like me and hot chicks. Me and hot chicks have that thing in common where we walk into the club and everyone just looks at us and goes, we're getting that fucked up tonight. <laughs> and it's true, but I don't know why, because nothing happens when I drink, nothing crazy. Like, I don't know if one of your friends told you like, no man, you get a midget drunk, they explode into gold coins. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's awesome. Nothing happens. Basically, when I drink, it's the same thing as when a hot chick drinks. Uh, I, I get very emotional. Um, I'll probably text an ex. And by the end of the night, I might blow a dude. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and then him making that joke just makes me think about the joke he made about him and his homeboy. Oh, you see the episode, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, man. I also say things when I'm drunk that I would absolutely never say sober under any circumstances. Uh, like, not too long ago, I was watching a game with my buddy, and the team that I put money on won. I was very excited, so I turned to my friend, and I said something to him that I would never say if I was sober. I turned to him, I go, yeah, chest bump. <laughs> I should never say that shit. Never... <laughs> Why did I say that to my friend? He's six foot two, okay? He's six foot two. What? I, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but I, I, I have tall friends, okay? It's not like the midgets get together every Sunday under the tree stump and watch football. <laughs> so he's six foot two. <laughs> he said under the tree stump. Like, wow. <laughs> oh, man, I can't with this dude. But he's been my friend for 20 years. I'm not his dwarf buddy. I'm not his little person pal. I'm just Brad to him. So I say chest bump. He's been drinking too. He's like, yeah, chest bump. And then he jumped. Why the fuck did he jump? <laughs> Why? Why did he do it? It was already 
hard enough, okay? I'm already staring at him like, climb every mountain. Like, it's not <laughs> gonna go well. You took something very difficult and then put something more difficult at the end of it. It's like putting a math test at the end of a Special Olympics race or something. <laughs> okay, if you didn't laugh at that joke, fuck you. Fuck I laughed you. at that joke. That was a great joke. I'm allowed I'm to make that joke because I was in the Special Olympics, goddammit, okay? Yes. I ran well, track in the Special Olympics. Now, if you have never seen a midget run, holy shit, you don't know what you're missing out on. It is unbelievable. When a dwarf runs, the portal to heaven opens right there. <laughs> the legs are just going off in different directions like that. It's just so cute. But because I was in the youth Special Olympics, they didn't have everyone of the same disability. Also, if five dwarves were running at the same time, everyone would just die of a joygasm. So... <laughs> It wasn't just little people running. It was all these different kids with all these different disabilities, like some sort of Make-A-Wish All-Star team. And yeah, in, in, in the far lane, there was a kid on crutches, not worried about him. I'm going to kick his ass, okay? No problem there. <laughs> Next to him was a kid in a wheelchair. What the fuck, man? What the? A wheelchair? That's a performance enhancer. What are you doing? <laughs> Unless there's stairs on the track, I'm losing to this guy, okay? Then after that, it was me. And then after that was a fucker. Okay? Was a, wow. What? Wow. That's a politically correct term. That's what they like to be referred to as. They like to be called guys. Okay? That's true. Wow. Some of you feel sorry for him. Some of you are feeling sorry for him. Why? Feel sorry for me. I'm the guy that's got to run <clears> this event while my dad is up in the stands. I'm looking at him like, Daddy, are you proud of me? He's like, no, I'm not proud of you. You're, you're running next to a fucker. I'm not proud of you. <laughs> I'm trying to help me. Beat me, okay? Beat me. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, I'm not gonna laugh at that one. I couldn't help it. You just kept pushing it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Brad's a fool. <laughs> he cheated, though. He cheated. His mom ran in front of him holding a marshmallow the entire time. It's backwards. Wow. <laughs> so, so, back to the chest bump. So my buddy, six foot two, chest bumps me. You want to know what happens when a six foot two guy gives a four foot guy a chest bump? Four foot guy gets a dick in the face. That's what happens. Oh, man. And you can't ignore a dick in the face. You can't just pause over it. You can't skip it like a like a fart during sex. You can power through a fart during sex. You can be there like, all right, it's my position. Eye contact, do not inhale. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but when, when that happens, when that happens, you have to acknowledge it. So me and my friend are just staring at each other, making eye contact. No one knows what to say. And then <laughs> he finally looks down at me and goes, my bad, dog. Fuck you, my bad. <laughs> that is not a my bad moment. If you knock no. over my beer, okay, that is a my bad moment. If you drag your cock across my forehead, you will be a goddamn Hallmark card. Uh. Awesome. This is cool. I like this. I knew... I, I knew that when I was shooting my next special, I had to come back home to Southern California where I was born and raised. I had to do it here. South Cali. That's it. But I travel the country, and I'll be honest with you, one, like, one of the reasons that makes Southern California great is also what makes us shitty, because we have amazing weather all the time, but that makes us pussies. Okay? Wow. And we know. We've all been there like, oh my god, I am not going outside today. <laughs> it is 68 degrees outside. <laughs> Are the schools even open? It's done. <laughs> oh, why do I feel attacked? I'm over here cold right now knowing I don't want to say nothing because everybody who's wearing snows is like where it's really cold. But I don't care. I don't care if y'all cold. It's different from my cold. I'm still cold. <laughs> But I'm one of you, so yeah, bad weather freaks me out. I was in New York City not too long ago, and yeah, and they got a blizzard there. They got a foot and a half of snow in one day, okay? One fucking day, okay? 
And I'm on stage talking about it, like, there's a foot and a half of snow outside. The audience is like, hey, it's no big deal. It's just like a foot and a half of snow. Like, like no, it's a big deal. Ah, it's just a foot and a half of snow. There's a foot and a half of snow. It's just a foot and a half of snow. And I am four feet fucking tall, all right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big deal for me. Maybe not for you guys. Maybe you guys walk around a foot and a half of snow, you trip, you fall, your knee gets wet, you're like, oh God, it's winter time. If I trip and fall in a foot and a half of snow, I die. You understand? <laughs> I was scared. I went to one of those sporty goods stores and I bought one of those soccer flags and I just duct tape that shit to my back. <laughs> I just wow. Walk around New York City like this the entire time. People are looking at me like, Brad, you look like a loser. Don't give a shit. I'm going to live. <laughs> he said, if he falls, somebody's going to find him. You don't care. <laughs> oh, man. I travel a lot, obviously, for my job. It's fun, but uh, sometimes stuff happens. Like, last week I was on the road and I had a long flight. I had the window seat and the person next to me fell asleep, so I couldn't get up to go to the bathroom the entire time. So when I landed, I really had to go to the bathroom. So I run to the airport bathroom. Now here's where we come to a little bit of bathroom etiquette that I don't think a lot of the gentlemen in this audience are aware of, okay? Uh, ladies, you can tune out. This does not concern you. Um, <laughs> gentlemen, when you are in a public bathroom, stay the fuck away from my urinal. <laughs> See, the men are laughing because they know what urinal I'm talking about. The women are like, you have the urinal. Yeah, I know exactly what he's talking about. Oh, man. Urinal? Yes, I do. I have a urinal in every single bathroom across these United States. It's required by law. There's always two or three urinals that are way up here, and there's always one that's way the fuck down there. That's mine. That is my urinal. You do not use that urinal. That is reserved for me. That is reserved for your five-year-old son, Zachary. Oh, yeah. And that is reserved for any man with a two-foot dick, okay? That is all. <laughs> so. You know, one thing I never understood, though? I, one thing I never understood was we get the, we, we have the, the bathrooms, like the public restrooms with the urinals and the one small one and everything. But I've seen public restrooms that got these urinal, uh, urinals <laughs> that literally go from, like, my eye level all the way down to the ground. So there's literally no way you can miss it. It's all the way down to the ground. And then I'll still see one that's still all the way down to the ground, but the height isn't matching up. Like, wait, why make that last one shorter when it's already low enough for everybody? I, that, I, I never understood that. Like, what's going on there? I get the ones where it's like regular urinals and everything, and then you know, gotta make that one lower and everything. But the ones that are like all the way in the ground and everything, like all the way at the floor, all of them like why do we have the one that's at the floor too but the top is shorter like i don't know if somebody that knows the answer to that one please tell me black guy's clapping it's like i can use that shit. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can so i go to this bathroom now in this airport bathroom it's all open urinals it's a cornucopia of urinals one might even say they have a plethora of urinals and they're all wide open. Only one is being taken up. Guess which one urinal is being taken up? Mine, all right? So now I'm behind the guy, I gotta do this like dwarf, I gotta pee dance like right behind him. Now other people walk in the bathroom, they see a dwarf dancing right behind a guy. You see a dwarf dancing behind someone, you think I'm casting a spell on him or some shit. <laughs> And I just had this moment where I couldn't take it anymore. <clears throat> I just looked at the dude. I was like, excuse me, sir. And he turned around. And this is exactly what he did. No exaggeration. He just turns around and goes, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> like, all that was missing was the Southwest Airline logo. Like, boop, want to get away? <laughs> like, <that was> <laughs> process had to be when he's going in there okay I'll, I'll use this one the odds of the, the, the he's probably thinking it's like the odds of somebody who actually need this beat coming in here are slim to none then he turns around and sees Brad Williams <laughs> oh man <laughs> that is too funny I gotta get that oh I gotta get that again That's exactly what he did no exaggeration he just turns around and goes no fucking way <laughs> 
The one time you think it won't happen is when it happens. It's the Southwest Airline logo, like, boop. Want to get away? <laughs> I was telling my friend about the story, and he's like, Brad, why don't you just use a regular size urinal? Listen, I would love to use a regular size urinal. I don't possess the muscle control necessary to use a regular size urinal. If I use a regular size urinal, I got to be like, pee, shut it off, pee, shut it off, pee, shut it off. I can't do that. I haven't done enough Kegels. <laughs> but I was nice to the guy. I just said, excuse me, sorry, turn around. That was it. I'm not going to be nice anymore. I'm not. If I ever go to a bathroom and I see one of you tall fucks and you are using my urinal, I will go full R. Kelly on your leg. All right? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, man. Oh, I already know. I'm gonna enjoy this one just as much. All right, y'all. I know. Can't wait for part two, right? But y'all know what to do. Go down in the comment section. Let, let me know what y'all thought about this. Let me know what you'd like to see me react to next. Hit that like button before you go. Share this video with everyone you know. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right? So, till next time, take care of yourselves. And I'm out of here.